Here is a special case of linear inequality. We are dealing with negative coefficients. The question is solve linear inequality and represent the solution on a number line. We have three different inequalities here. The first one is 5 minus x less than 6. Second is 2 minus 5x greater than minus 8. And the third one is minus half x plus 3 less than or equal to 5. You will note that the coefficient of x is negative in all the three cases and that makes them special. Let us see how to solve such linear inequalities. Now, solving them is following exactly same steps which you will do for solving equations as we did in earlier videos. And I'll point out the difference a bit later. So the first step is we need to isolate x. 5 minus x less than 6. To isolate x, we need to get rid of 5. So let's take away 5 from both sides. So we get minus 5 plus 5 minus x less than 6 minus 5. So we have taken away 5 from both the sides. That leaves us with minus x is less than 6 minus 5, which is 1. Now we have to get rid of this minus. So we can divide or we can multiply by minus 1 on both sides. If we do that, this becomes plus x and that becomes minus 1. Remember, whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the sign changes. So it becomes x greater than minus 1. So you need to change the sign also when you multiply by a negative number. That is the critical step, right? This is, this is what is very critical to remember why it is done so think like this if you write 7 is greater than 5 and if I multiply by minus 1 then I get what I get minus 7 and minus 5 is minus 7 greater than minus 5 no it is less sign changes so you need to remember that part and always reverse the sign when you multiply or divide by a negative number so the solution here is that x is greater than minus 1. Do you see that? That is how it differs from the previous set of videos. So here, since you are multiplying by a negative number, the sign reverses. Now let's represent this on a number line. So here is a number line. Mark the critical number, which is minus 1, along with its neighbors. So we'll say minus 1 and the neighbors are 0 on the right, and minus 2 to the left. Since we are saying x is greater than minus 1, numbers on the right are greater. 0 is greater than 1. So we'll make a open 0 here or a hole here pointing arrow towards the right. So that is the solution of the given inequality 5 minus x less than 6 on a number line. Now let's do the next one. 2 minus 5x greater than minus 8. So we have to take away 2. So it is minus 2 plus 2 minus 5x is greater than minus 8 minus 2. Correct? Now that leaves us with minus 5x is greater than minus 10. And we will divide by minus 5 this time. So what do I get? Minus 5x divided by minus 5 minus 10 divided by minus 5. And we should change the sign. That is important. So we get x is less than 2. Do you see that? And on a number line, we can show the solution as, let me write down the numbers 1, 2, and 3. 2 is our critical number, and we are looking for a solution which is x is less than 2. So it's not filled, it's an open hole, and the arrow points towards the left. So that is the solution. The third problem here is, minus half x plus 3 less than equals to 5. I'll request you to pause the video, write down the solution and then check with mine. Now here it is. So we have minus half x plus 3 minus 3 this time because we want to get rid of 3 first. So 5 minus 3. So we get minus half x is less than equals to 5 minus 3 is 2. Now you should multiply by minus 2 on both sides. So you get minus 2 times minus half x is less than equals to 2 times 
minus 2, right? So when you multiply by minus 2, you get rid of minus half. So you get plus sign, but what you should do with the sign? You have to reverse this symbol to greater than equal to. Do you understand? So that is what you should remember to do, and that could be a big error. So you get what? You get x is greater than or equals to 2 times minus 2 as minus 4. So that is the solution, which could be represented on a number line as you write minus 4, so we get minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. 4 is a critical number right in the center. It is filled up since it is greater than or equal to, right? Greater than or equal to means on the right. So that is the solution. So once you have done the solution, you could. what you should do is, you should check your solution. 0 is a good point to check in this case. So if you plug in 0 here, you get 5 less than 6. That is correct. In this case, 1 is a good point to check. So if I substitute 1 for x, I get 2 minus 5, which is minus 3. And minus 3 is greater than minus 8, so that is also correct. In this case, a good point to check will be, if you move further down, so I should have written, this is wrong, minus 5, minus 4, and minus 3, right? Negative numbers, more negative, is on your left. Now on the right, we'll get 0. So 0 is a good point to check here, which is a part of solution. So you can write 0 here. So when you write 0, you get 3 is less than or equals to 5, which is correct. So we have checked our solutions, and it's good we checked, because since I had made a mistake. So go through this solution once again. Thank you.